Hey! <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Nyasia Brown and welcome back to my channel, Caffeinated Looks. My nose is running because gorgeous, gorgeous girls know that makeup be having their nose running and their eyes watering. So yeah, we do that. Welcome back to my channel. I miss you guys so much. I missed filming so much. To you guys, it hasn't really been that long since I last filmed my last video. However, to me, it's been quite a while. So let me give you guys kind of the rundown. The last time I filmed, I would like to say was beginning of January to middle of January. I haven't filmed all of February and a lot of you guys are probably going to be wondering why and I'm going to explain and give you guys all my fun excuses right now. <laughs> February was kind of a very hard month for me. I was finding out some bad news as well as trying to get back into the groove of school because if you guys don't know I am a graduate student and I'm in my last semester of graduate school so it's been a very hectic as well as my job is out of school so with the new semester starting and whatnot i've been having more demanding hours than i usually have and it just was a very emotionally draining month especially because now that the realization has hit me that i am in my final semester of graduate school i'm trying to figure out <laughs> What the hell I want to do? Do I want to do PhD? Do I want to do law school? Do I want to just go get some certificates? I don't know what I want to do as it pertains to my career. I have some idea like I want to write and whatnot, but I have to keep doing something, get a job, go to law school, whatever, whatever I'm doing. I have to do something in the meantime because my family is your typical minority family and we very much so are get that degree. So until I write a book. I have to do something else so yes today I do not have any caffeine with me I have a nice little water because I have not been like on the when I don't have work I try not to consume caffeine even though I have the very very strong urge to order caffeine at this very moment the month of February um, has been a very stressful month to say the least but it has been you know a month for the books so with that in mind, me not filming means that I have also not been able to read during the month of February. And as stressful as that is, because like I said, once I got back into reading, it became my safe space again. But you know, as an adult, we have a lot of responsibilities that we have to handle. And so I had to handle those before I could take time to enjoy myself and read like i love to so it's march um it's a new month i'm gonna call this the month of abundance in all aspects of life and i'm gonna read an abundance of books this month may not seem like a lot to y'all because y'all be reading books like eight books a month i don't know about all that <laughs> i still have to work i still go to school like i don't know about all that but i am going to set myself up with a goal of, of an amount of books that I want to read. So, as this title says, I will be telling you guys my TBR for March. So let's get into this. I'm kind of super excited and let's see how this goes for us. The first book that I will be talking about is the book that I've told you guys about that I've been reading on and off for the month of February. So, I, I really like this book. It's just that I've had so much to do. And this is the book called Creating Characters by the editors of Writer's Digest. I know all of us have heard about Writer's Digest. It's everywhere and I thought it would be really cool to get this book. I forgot where I heard about it from or if I was scrolling through Amazon to see what kind of books I was going to get and just happened to come across it. But if I did get it from someone, I'll put it on the screen. I don't remember. But um, yes. As you guys know, I've always talked about writing my own story, so I thought it would be a really good like introduction to just learning about my characters and writing better characters. So I started reading this. As you can see, it is heavily tabbed, but this is book number one that I just really want to finish. Like, it's it's already started. It just has to be finished. I think there's like a hundred or so pages left the next book is also another writing craft book because i really do want to start writing my book sometime this month um and that is save the cat writes a novel and it is by jessica 
Brody. It says the last book on novel writing you'll ever need, so hopefully I don't have to buy any more. I heard a lot about this book from a bunch of people who have written books in the craft and who have and have tried to further develop their craft in the best ways possible and I had to get it because I was like eyeing this book for a while and I was like yeah I'm not gonna get it I'm not gonna get it like why would I need to get it but I gave in and I got it off of Amazon I'm just ready to read it to be honest so this is definitely gonna be on my TBR for this month okay so the next books that I have is a series and you guys may or may not know this but I love anime I love manga and it just so happens that one of my favorite animes has like a light novel series and if you guys know what I'm talking about you're the goat but this is the next series that I plan to read I don't know if you guys can see it but it is the bleach light novel series it's three of them and they all vary in like size I went to Barnes and Nobles <laughs> a few days ago and well a few weeks ago and I got a bunch of books from Barnes and Nobles I don't know if you guys want a haul because I feel like I do a haul so much but I got a lot of books from Barnes and Nobles and from Amazon so maybe I'll do like a haul because it was a lot regardless of all of that um this is my favorite anime bleach is one of my favorite animes like the top one like number one and i just needed to get this book like i needed to have this book um and i was so sad when i only saw i was just looking because i had gotten my basket of books from barnes and nobles i spent like 200 and some dollars and i had gotten my basket full of books and i was like i'm not gonna look at any more i'm going to the register and then i saw like the manga section and light novel section i was like hold on wait a minute because bleach has light novels and i wanted to know if they were like released in english so i went to the section and i saw the last two of the bleach light novel it's the first one and the second one so i got these from barnes and nobles um can't for your own world is what it's called <laughs> i love it i've heard a lot about it um and then the first book i had to order individually on amazon and it literally just got here like two days ago um because it's been a while but i have all three of them and i'm going to read them this month because if you guys don't know and if you guys aren't privy to this knowledge the bleach anime is coming back in october of this year 2022 i can read it and have all the knowledge that may possibly show up in the anime i don't know if kubo came up with i don't know if kubo discussed the light novels and if any of this information would be in the anime or not but i'm gonna read it because i can never have enough of bleach and we love that for us so i'm gonna definitely read it um i heard there's some information about the soul king and his origin and everything like that because i've been watching youtube videos on it so i'm definitely excited for it and i cannot wait so let's hope for the best next book is a book that i also ordered from amazon y'all know me me and amazon be best friends because barnes and nobles is so far from me and i don't have a car so it's like a, a good two bus rides i don't have time for that so i just be ordering stuff over amazon unless i'm conveniently in the area in which a barnes and nobles is um i just i just be ordering off of amazon so yeah but this is a really cool book and i really did fall in love with the cover and then i put it in my amazon cart because i was like i'm on a book van but we all see how that went this is ryan douglas's the taking of jake livingston so here is the kind of gist of it the summary so living in two worlds is exhausting and no one knows this better than 16 year old jake livingston his working class Diverse neighborhood is a far cry from the world of St. Clair Prep, where he is one of the only black students, constantly at the mercy of racist teachers and peers who do not understand him. But when his neighbor, a survivor of a grisly school shooting, is murdered and, a, and the bloody initials of the now dead shooter, Sawyer Dune, are left on the entryway wall of Jake's home, Jake is forced to confront another world he wishes he could escape, the world of the dead. As a medium, Jake sees ghosts around him all the time. Most are harmless. Stuck in their death loops as they relive their deaths over and over again, they rarely interact with people. And while for most of his life, Jake has avoided them, this time there is no running away. Sawyer was a troubled teen who shot, 
and killed six kids at a local high school before taking his own life. Now, he's a powerful, vengeful ghost and he has plans for his afterlife. Plans that include Jake. When Sawyer begins stalking him, the high school becomes a different kind of survival game. One, Jake is not sure he can win. Okay, we love that for us. We're here for all of it. And the last book that I do want to read this month is the book that I got. As so I pre-ordered this book, so it came to me on its release date. And this is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. And you guys know how I feel about V.E. Schwab. I love her too, bitch. She is a lovely, lovely woman. I follow her on Instagram. I just love her energy. And so I got her book that she's been talking about. And I'm very happy that I'm going to be reading it. I got it as soon as possible. As soon as I heard about it, I pre-ordered it. It came to me March 1st. The day it was released. And I'm so happy that I got it. And so I'm going to read you guys. The summary. All her life, Olivia Pryor has wondered who she truly is and where she belongs. Her only clue is a slim, battered journal. Her mother's journal. Full of entries that seem to show what she was unraveling and drawings that look like blots of ink. Until Olivia notices a hand, a door, a bloom, and a skull. Then a letter beckons Olivia home to Gallant. The one place her mother's journal warns her never to go. Olivia goes anyways, of course she does. What she finds is her last living relative in her family's manor. A manor with a ballroom and a sitting room and a study and a sprawling, vibrant garden. And the crumbling ruin of a garden wall with an iron door, a door she must never open. But no one at Gallant sent Olivia that letter. And no one will tell her what haunts her cousin's dreams, what happened to her mother, and lies on the other side of the wall. Did the shadow call Olivia home? What will they ask her of in return? So guys, that is the end of the books that I'm gonna be reading in March. It's quite a bit, quite a lot, but I'm kind of super excited about all the books that I'm going to be reading in March. I have so many books that I still have to read and that I have yet to read, but I am super excited. Like I'm excited. I think I'm gonna start doing like my monthly TBR every month because i feel like this is so cool just setting a little goal for myself of what i'm gonna read and how far i'm gonna get in my reading journey and after i read all of these books i'm gonna buy me another book because i was at barnes and nobles when i was buying my books and i felt so bad and the cashier was talking to me she was like yeah i made up this rule every time i read two books i buy another book so i said every time i read four books or five books or however many books i read then i will buy a new book so every month i will try to buy a new book and not go overboard i'm gonna have to wind down on it but we're gonna see how that goes yes if you guys hear noise in the background i asked my mom to be quiet she's not being quiet and i have no other time to film so thank you guys so much i really appreciate you guys i hope you guys like this video like i say in all my videos make sure that you like comment share and subscribe so you can see more of me and more of my content and more of my reads also make sure that you follow me on my social media i will link it down below um so you guys can see any other books that i don't mention on my channel that i read make sure that you leave any video recommendation that you have for me down in the comment section down below i do read my comments so thank you guys so much <laughs> i will see you guys in my next video peace out <laughs>